Hello everyone and welcome back to CIGTI channel and this video I will show you guys how I paint the yellow hair in similaristic style and of course I don't think this one will be the tutorial because actually I just show you guys the way that I did that and of course this will be a long video so uh, maybe <laughs> there's something you can skip it so you see the hair in here, I already make it a lot of video about the same hairstyle in here so you can easily follow in what different uh, when the hair is changing the style and I have the layer 3 in here, this is the layer uh, color hair I already create and the like work in here the light work now because I decide to paint things so that's why I will lower the opacity of the light work in here just enough for me to see where the strand hair will go okay uh, and this thing, I think that when you are uh, working in the painting style like this you better have more details look for the hair in here that will help you a lot later okay so now I will choose protect all four in here so I can work uh, with this one and you know when you're painting I recommend you guys that you will better go with the black uh, the dark color first so I will lower the uh, brightness and the shade rotation and changing it to the, the dark color that I wanted to uh, like this okay the next thing that you can see there are a lot of light space because the hair here when I create I just follow the light work to create the self setting style so that's why now I will turn off the light work in here and turn off the protein part so I uh, will peel on the blind spray in here Okay, it's look enough for me now. I'll go back to the light work in here. And now the next thing that you will go back with the protein and file, okay? The next thing that you must thinking where is the light source is and what happened in the environment. I was just thinking that there will be light short at the top of the head, the character, so you can see how round the head look. So first I will pick the highlight color here so I will use the airbrush to uh, let me think about how this will look so the hair is rounding here and of course it will be uh, kind of at the top right so in the front a little bit here so with that I can create the look and the change the value of the hair like this okay have enough things like that and now you have in your mind that what happened here the next thing that we will go in a little bit into details in here then I will use the watercolor brush or flat brush depending on your choice I will go with the flat brush because I prefer it more and now you see that the uh, between the, the color the yellow one with the dark color in here that will have the transition color and I will pick that color here to create some transition look With that, I will draw the detail for the hair. Show you guys where is the strand look is. You better draw on every single strand right now, uh, so you can follow it and create the detail look of the semi-real uh, hair later when you are painting. This will be dark around this part here. Okay, and the strand will be around here, just creating the details for this one. And maybe I will go with a darker color so I can see it easily because later when I'm painting it, it still will be smoked away okay, like this.
Thinking about the flow of the hair and the more details you create will be the best. Okay, that's enough for me now. Now I can see easily what the hands will be look like. Now I will create some highlight. So I will make the contrast look for the hair here. Go to the top, the highlight color in here. Use the same flat brush here to create the highlight. Think about where it will reach the line here. You see how the hair is will be pop up when you put the highlight on, right? Okay, that's enough. So that could be the hair look like when uh, where the highlight is and where the shadow is. Okay, so now we'll go into the details here and we use the watercolor brush to create the shadow of the hair. And we choose the dark color here to create the shadow look of the hair. Now we turn off the light, uh, the light work layer here. So I can work on this one easily. Maybe you want to decrease the size of the brush here to create the details for the strand of the hair. Just go with the big strand first. See that how it look right now. You maybe will pick a lot of color because when you're mixing there will be color that's missing that like this color and this color will mix and then you see this color and this color will be mixed and then you put and then click in the middle on here to changing the color of the hair you see that the result we will have in here when you're painting it and because we choose protect alpha so uh, it will work in the feel of the hair here and not move anywhere you can see that now the contrast look now will appear in the hair here where the shadow will create and then where the highlight will appear Just continue with that until you're satisfied you see that how um, the highlights work and then maybe you want to put more a little bit more here so thinking about the highlight here I want to make it pop up more so I create a new layers and choose clipping that will choose add okay now next I will use the airbrush in here to create the shining look for this one not really shining just enough shining here kind of like this so pick the color that you think that will be the best okay in here that's it you see that the hair is now pop up more 
with the low that is really shining like there's the color up here in this one and now uh, maybe you can use the few shell rotations in here to change the shining look like there's the environment will appear to the hair here yeah like this like there's the sun Under the tree, I cut out like this. So that's why I pick this one. So when I pick this one here, I will make sure that it will be dark enough for display. So that's why I will have another clipping mask and choose darken. Darken here, I will pick the color that make it the same for the character and use the airbrush here. That I will choose around that is kind of a little bit red here. So with that, with the contrast look, the desk will be somewhere it's really dark and desk will be somewhere it's really uh, kind of light and will make your hair look more realistic. And you see how the contrast may help it, right? Use the airbrush to work so you can make the value for the hair later. Create some shadow for the strand hair. That's why I tell you that you must create the big strand here. Now we just follow it to create the uh, shadow for the strand hair. Remember, you must put the darker lines here at uh, below. The, the under the layer um, have blending is add because it will affect to the add uh, blending here. Okay, now it look really great here. I want the blending as you can uh, kind of more pop up and this color is enough for me but I want it to look more lightened like the, the sun or the light the short is kind of really light so that's why I will use the app here use the same airbrush to make it pop up here and here See when you're done this one, now you merge all of them together here and you have one layer. Now click Ctrl or Command J in here so you can duplicate the new layer and you can go back to the previous layer if you are making some mistake here. Now you go further in the details. Okay, now you have the bellow that's where it will be lighting, where it will be shadow. Now just go into the details in here. And you see that I have a lot of brush of the hair group in here. All of them are default uh, brush you can find in Medibank Cloud. So now I have the cost brush in here. I'll we'll drag it. This is the Sumi ink, okay? And you can pick some of them here to have fun with this one to create the details. You can see how the strand hair is will create to make it look realistic here. I just want to create a little bit before I go into the real detail for the hair. So I can give a little bit texture. Okay, that's enough. And now I will go back to the watercolor brush here. I will make the details and blending things with this one. I will lower, uh, decrease the size of the brush in here to make it smaller, and then starting to painting the hair very carefully for this one.
can see just a little bit details in here and now it will look really different. This look now, uh, this tank will put a lot of the details and I want to make it look more construct so that's why I will duplicate this layer again and um, I will use here shell rotations in here and reduce the brightness of this one I will increase the shell rotation a little bit and make it look and its color, yeah, changing color a little bit here and now that's time to make it look construct so go back with the hair that will be the yellow right you will pick the yellow that will pop up for this hair and this time I will use only the black brush in here why because I like the texture you can see that it will have some strength in here just like it's some small strength here but it's kind of thick and it fits my style so that's why so now your tab, do you remember when you put the light pressure, it will give you a light look. If you put the strong pressure, this will be thick like this. So just practice, use your hands to move it a little bit here at the root. You will try the lighting like this. If the burst is too big, you will decrease the size of this one and lightly, slightly do like this. When at where the color will pop up, you will put it, make it have a strong look like this one. So continue to push on the look here with where the light source will appear starting like this and until you satisfy with the look it's time for you to uh, release the protect effort here and choose this one and then you will continue to draw outside to make the hair look more naturally so this time to make it look uh, easy to look here and how I can see the uh, big result this one you know that I will create the layers uh, 17 here just under here to create the background look so I will pick the dark color and fill it and you will see how the colors is will pop up in here if you put your character into the environment so to reduce your time here I already worked and the step until now you see I will put I release the uh, protein alpha in here so the brush can go outside this one and of course for some part that I cre decrease the size to the smallest to create the strand here like this one for some part you know that it's still inside uh, the hot hair here but it still have a little bit line so that's why you will put a uh, click to the color that will mix between the dark and the uh, light and you will kind of slightly draw a little bit here to make the transition look for this one if you find some place that look kind of stiff you just reduce the, or decrease the size of the brush and starting to draw the strand here like this one so this will look naturally
continue to work on the detail until you're satisfied with the result and make it look realistic enough. Especially where is the root here, so make, you should make it thick for this one, so you will have enough imaging about how the strand will look. The more transition the color look, the better result you will get. So that you can see that there's the place with less detail and the place with more details look have the better result. We just have fun with your time, spending time to create details and remember to spending time to changing the color a lot in here and you can see the missing color here and maybe some part you want to uh, delete this one to make it look naturally like you can use the trans uh, parents box in here to erase some uh, place that you think that it should be erased yeah So okay, now we are out a little bit things in here. Mm, let me start a little bit. Okay, when you are done the details in here and you kind of have satisfied this one and I want it to look more kind of there's a lot uh, a strong light in here so that's why I will create a new layer and choose blending is add okay and next time this time is the final retouch so that's why I will use the flat brush in here and see that it will create the effect of this one first I will pick the color buying the color that I think that will be the best uh, for creating the strong light this one okay that is kind of perfect now mm, this one is okay and now I will use the flat brush it dry here and increase the size a little bit and choose clipping and now working a little bit in here as you give the light peeling like it kind of give a yellow peeling for this one So that I also choose this one you know that I will erase a little bit uh, to make it have the soft and natural feeling of the light is not really too strong to much but lost the details yeah like this. so I will erase a little bit with the same brush here and then I go back again with the color make it a little bit lighter here and reduce and decrease the size of the brush of course erase more a little bit here to make it look naturally back here again now it's time to decrease the size of the brush to create some strength like the shiny strand here That is enough now. I want this uh, okay, a little bit more strong line here. Yeah, look perfect now. Yeah, that's 
is what I want to. Erase a little bit. Will be better for this one. And put the airbrush in here and give the effect that there is a lightning color to the hair. Color like this. My brush. here for the bouncing light and we are done the hairstyle here if you think there's a lot uh, so much change that you want to change just go back to erase and then continue to use the airbrush or whatever color it is to changing the color of the hair and then we are done yeah, it's just, I think that it's just the way that I show you guys how I draw it, it's not really a tutorial. But well, thank you for watching this video, goodbye and see you next time.